Hello guys, welcome to another RDI episode. In today's video, we're gonna make a really good looking hoodie. No, I'm not talking about this one. I'm actually talking about this really good looking design. We're also gonna make fake rhinestones. So if you wanna find out how we do this, make sure you watch the video. And best of all, we're gonna use our very affordable vinyl cutter. I'm talking about, of course, the Cameo 4 vinyl cutter. So let's get started. I used CorelDRAW X6 to make a rhinestones template, but I could have used Silhouette Studio. And honestly, this is very simple to do. I will be using just a circle to form a rhinestone template. I will need a black and white logo since this will make it a lot easier. Let's go to Google and type in or look for a black and white TikTok logo. After that, let's just use this one and let's bring it to our software. I have this tool integrated to our software, CorelDRAW. I bought it a while ago and it makes the process of doing rhinestones a lot easier, but I won't be using it today, depending on the size of the rhinestones, but this software tells me how big the circles have to be. The purple dot represents a stone. All right, let's go to our tools and get a circle. And remember that our circle has to be 0 0.13. So let's go ahead and enter that. And what I could do, I could just follow the path, just start filling in a lot of circles, but I'm gonna show you something in case you have a different logo. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of little circles, just make lots of copies and make sure that I do align them. I mean, you can take your time and make sure that they're well aligned, but just to show you, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of different copies. If you had a different logo, or an image that required a whole bunch of different stones, you can pretty much do this. If I use this method for this logo, I would have to get rid of so many circles, but I'm gonna place the image. I'm gonna try to align it, and so you guys get an idea. And just delete all of the other circles that I won't need. And after that, once our image starts taking shape, then I can move the circles around until it looks a little better, until it looks like this. All right guys, so it's time to start opening our Silhouette Studio and we have the free version. Let us know in the comments if you guys have the business edition and if you think it's worth it. Now that we have our image, it's time to start looking for a nice looking font. I'm gonna leave some links in the description of the video to where you can download different fonts. And I think I'm gonna go for something cursive. Probably this one, I like this one. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and center it. And I'm going to weld our fonts and after that I'm gonna go and group them all because if I do not do that our vinyl cutter is gonna cut every single line and that's why I have to follow these steps now I can probably make it a little bit bigger and move it uh, I'm actually gonna leave it, put it on the side so I can save a little bit of vinyl and I'm gonna add a waiting box I'm just gonna use a rectangle tool and a little line across this will make it a lot easier, especially when you work with decal vinyl. And I think it's good about there. Now I'm going to mirror it, highlight it, and then just mirror it. And I think we are ready to start sending this. Our settings are going to be blade on 4, cut force at 28, speed doesn't really matter. But one thing, make sure that you do double pass as I'm going to be doing fake rhinestones. Now this is the moment of the truth. This is going to be the biggest challenge. Hopefully our vinyl cutter did a good job of it. The font that I'm, I use is really small and thin 
And so far, it's looking great, honestly. So far, I'm impressed with the way it's weeding out. Now, the logo for um, TikTok, that's where the real challenge is going to be. So far, so good. So if you guys cannot afford getting the uh, the flock, I forgot what it's called for rhinestones, you can always do fake stones like this one. And <laughs> honestly, I think the settings are just perfect the way they are supposed to be. Honestly, I'm really, really impressed. I'm not missing a single dot. All of them came exactly the way I was expecting or hoping they would. But now I can save this little piece. Uh, we can save this for like a name or something. Look guys, tell me this is not perfect. I want you guys to look at the details. I mean, this logo is not the smallest one, but it has a whole bunch of like details inside and it looks great. I'm glad or I'm happy with our settings and the heat press that I will be using today is from stalls.com and is the Hotronix 16 by 20. And you can get this. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of the video and you should be able to get the same, the cover, the top cover for your heat press from the same place, from stalls, or I will find some from Amazon, something similar. If you guys are liking this video, make sure you give us a like. YouTube will recommend this to other people. Thank you so much. Also subscribe and turn on the notifications. Now I'm gonna go ahead and heat press the garment. Also remember that you can get all the tools as well as the garments. We're gonna have a link where we get a small commission if you guys get any garments and it's from all day shirts. The link will be in the description of the video. We're gonna go ahead and pre-press for a few seconds. And I'll make sure that we have the pressure, medium to firm pressure. And I think we got it there. Oh, by the way, the garment that I will be using is the uh, Gildan Dry Blend 50 cotton, 50 polyester. Don't worry, I'll make sure to leave all the information in the description. By the way, the vinyl I'm using today is the Caesar Glitter Vinyl. We have never had any issue with this vinyl. We love it. We love working with this. We have so many customers that we have made a lot of shirts with this type of vinyl. And I'm going to try to center it and I'm going to leave it about... Uh, so this is for a girl. I'm going to leave it at like three. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit. This is exactly where I want the logo to be. I'm going to give it the full cycle or I can probably just give it a few and then get rid of the uh, transfer and heat press it for the full cycle. I mean, it's not like it's going to leave a mark, but I'm still going to make sure because I want to give it a few extra seconds and I'll be really careful with peeling this off. So far, so good. It's nice. Now I can give it the full cycle just to make sure that our logo is on the garment for good. If you guys are using something even better than Caesar glitter vinyl, let us know in the comments as well. But this one works great for us. Uh, I can even give it uh, another few seconds inside out just to make sure that the logo will last a long time. For our hoodie, we're going to use a Gildan and it's a unisex fit and it's the 50 cotton 50 polyester. To get better results, I'm going to make sure that I heat press or pre-press our garment for a few seconds and I also want to check the pressure we always do because we mainly use it for uh, the heat press for shirts and I think that's perfect about eight. Now it doesn't matter if you're using just vinyl to make fake rhinestones or just any designs with glitter or real rhinestones. It is very important that you make sure you get the pillow as well as also check 
the uh, pressure. That's uh, another thing that you have to just follow the instructions for whatever you are applying or working with. Usually, manufacturer gives you all the information that you need. And now I'm going to align this. I'm going to center it as best as I can. If you can see, I'm leaving enough space here. That way people can read the logo. And right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a few seconds and then I will remove the transfer. And after that, then I can apply our next layer of vinyl. When I remove the transfer, I'll do it carefully because I mean, even though you can do a hot peel, you still want to be careful. Don't want to pull it too fast and uh, too soon. I'm loving this. It looks great. Now I'm going to apply our little safety hat on top. And same thing, same deal. We'll give it a few seconds. Get rid of that. And now I can give it the full cycle. And our hoodie is almost ready. And look at that. I'm sure our customer is going to be really happy once she sees her hoodie. It looks great. And now it's time to do the other side. They want it at certain height and that's just perfect the way it is. And I'm going to give it a few seconds because I still got to add the name at the bottom of uh, on the left side. And actually, yeah, the right side, my left right now, but it's once they put it on, it's going to be on the right hand side. And like I said, this is what they wanted. And um, they told me exactly the height. And now I'm going to add the name underneath this little house. I'm going to give it a few seconds and then I can remove it. And then I will give it the full cycle. And that's just perfect. One of the things that we love about owning a vinyl cutter is that you can make all kinds of different products. It doesn't matter what type of vinyl cutter you own. If you want to find out more, make sure to check out our channel as we have more information. There you guys have it. Amazing what you can do with just a very small vinyl cutter, very affordable. Remember that you can get all the tools. We're going to have all the links in the description of the video as well as on the first comment. Make sure you give us a like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And yeah, we'll see you guys until the next one. Thank you for your support.